Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to TQ of Travels. Today, sadly, is Lisa's and my last day here in Taiwan. We just checked out of our hotel, the Art Hotel behind us. I have to say, like, it's so good location. You're right, this location is great. The hotel is really nice. Like, it's, it is very comfortable. The bed was nice. The staff was amazing. They're so. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's small by American hotel standards. That's it. Very affordable, excellent location. Being here in the uh, Zimending area was a blast. There was always something to do, always something to eat. But at the same time, this one's like not in like the heart of that area, so it's still nice and quiet. <laughs> but it's only like two blocks away. From yeah, exactly. It, it's only like a five-minute walk. So we're on our way to go back to our favorite breakfast restaurant for breakfast. The final breakfasting. <laughs> and then we are going to be heading south for just a little bit to check out the Maokong Gondola before we join in a Taiwanese cooking class later this afternoon. So we should have a lot of fun today for our last day here in Taiwan. So let's go get some food. Are so good. He's a good, good find on this restaurant, right? Look at that melty cheese. All right, so we're walking to the train. Lisa, what did you notice? Cheeto. Cheeto. We've been past this so many times. Look at this. Cheeto party room. It's Cheeto's his own party. <laughs> We have made it to the southmost station on the Wenhu line. We are at the Maokong Gondola, which you can see right behind us here. We're gonna try to get what's called the Crystal Cabin, which has like a glass bottom floor. I think this just goes up a mountain to some like tea shops and things where you can enjoy and buy some more tea like we did the other day in Shiding. <laughs> we might go like drink some tea. We probably won't buy much because we bought a lot of tea during that tea tour earlier this week. <laughs> I'm looking forward to riding the gondola though. I hear the views as you're going up are really nice, so I'm looking forward to that for sure. So the Mao Kong gondola is really long. I didn't, I knew it was long, but I did not really fully imagine how long this uh, gondola system is. It's pretty cool, like you go really high up <laughs> and you get really cool views of the city as you're, as you're going up the mountain. There are four stations, including the one we started at, but we got off at the third, the second to last station to check out some temples. We're at the Jinan Temple stop. We're gonna check out some temples in this area before we head up to the tippy top.
All right, so we're at a tea house at the top of the gondola. We got some ice cream here. I got a green tea, Baozhang. This has Taiwan. It's a oolong tea, green tea ice cream. Ooh, that's got a lot of tea flavor. Has the oolong. We're going to try the green. Which one do you like better? Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh, this is fantastic. They're both good, but this one. Mm -hmm. All right, we got some tea now to go with our ice cream. Got oolong tea, local oolong tea, and some green tea. And then they gave us some hot water so we can make some more with the same batch for a little bit. All right, well that tea house that Lisa and I went to was so good. The ice cream, delicious. The tea, delicious. We bought some to bring back home with us. It was really good. But now it's time for us to head down to the bottom to head back into the city in order to go to a Taiwanese cooking class. Eggplant with basil. Should be delicious, looking forward to it. My, my recipe is stirred gently. My recipe is for 60 pieces. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, but you, you don't need that much. And then cut down small, everything should be. Overlap and pinch the dough, lift up. The, the other finger, push, squish, squish the dough a little bit. That will be sharp now. Oh. And pinch harder. That's too thick. Pinch. Yes! Other technique for some. Also nice one for the other. Mm -hmm. Gently from the side. Okay. And then you use. Thank you. 
cover with your lid and over high heat. together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good, right? I, I really guarantee my guests can make it in one lesson. Mm. Yeah, these look awesome. <laughs> okay. okay. Spoon. Okay. Spoon. You poke a hole. Okay. And drink. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Lisa and I are all finished up with our Taiwanese cooking class with Ivy Chen. Lisa, that was so much fun, right? It was. And the food was so good. Like, honestly, some of the best Taiwanese food we've had on our whole trip. <laughs> the beef noodle soup was so flavorful. Like, it's so good. There's just like so many nuanced flavors that I got with the, the one. Maybe it's because we knew what we were putting in it as we were cooking it. Did you have like a favorite dish that we made? No, I think they were all pretty good. Right, they were dinner. all, they were all delicious. Yeah, even the like basil eggplant. Eggplant is not one of my favorite foods to eat, but that was so good. <laughs> no, it should be because it's delicious. It was, to cook it right, right, it was so much fun. Ivy is like a great teacher. She gave us all of these like fun little tips and tricks and she helps you out. Like we were able to make Xiaolong Bao that stayed together. I didn't expect that. I thought they were I, all gonna explode. <laughs> right, I did not think I was going to Oh man. successful dumpling. Right, it was so much fun. Highly recommend it. I'll have a link for it in the description down below. Definitely check it out if you're going to be in the Taiwan area. Uh, reach out to her to see if she's got availability. Highly recommended for it. me. All right, our first stop is Carrefour grocery store. We wanted to buy some of the specialty ingredients, like this hot bean sauce that we used in our cooking class. We're gonna get some soy sauce and some soy paste. All right, we've got some soy paste. And then we're gonna get some black bean soy sauce as well. We're just wandering through Jimending one last time. Last bubble tea of, well, okay. last bubble tea in Taiwan at least. <laughs> it is time for us to leave Taiwan, sadly. I, one week is not enough, right? I mean, it's not, but it's all we have, so. It was, it was like barely enough for just Taipei even. You can, you can easily spend two weeks. I think in the future, I would definitely try to do a return trip to Taiwan. I would do two weeks, right? But our adventure's not actually over yet because tomorrow morning we're gonna be leaving to Singapore. We're gonna be spending a couple days there. You won't wanna miss that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed watching our adventures here in Taiwan though, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you guys in Singapore. Bye for now, cheers.